Hello YouTubers, this tutorial will cover the distance speed tool that is prevalent in AWEBS. So first what you want to do of course is load some radar data. I've got uh, KMAF as the radar site. And right now there's some severe weather going on in uh, southeastern New Mexico. So, I'll first explain what the distance speed tool does. Um, distance speed is basically the storm motion vector tool that is present in uh, warn gen just without the warning part. So open up distance speed, you'll get this little window and you'll get this, which if you want to you can change the color. I'm going to change it to white, just for me it's easier to see. And then you're going to drag it to your feature, so we're going to drag it to this hail, hail core here. And then back it up a few frames. And here's the hail core here. Drag the marker, and it'll give you a new storm motion vector. Hit Control Right, that'll take it all the way, all the way to the final frame, and that's really all there is. Um, you can use this if you're using uh, PGen to issue warnings, um, which I have a tutorial on, which I'll provide a link for in the description. Um, this is useful if you're just trying to find a general storm motion vector for a watcher issuing, or anything along those lines. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Now that's only for a single storm. Now let's say you wanted to, um, let's say you wanted to, let me get this off of here first of all, unload, let's say you wanted to track a line of storms, so tools, distance speed, uh, let's see here, drag me to feature, actually wait, no, let me restart that, unload, tools, bear with me here, distance speed, and polyline. This is how you check a line of storms. And let it uh, bring itself back. So you bring it here. Bring. You, tri you make the vertices go. And then you've got that one. You you've now got this storm motion vector. Back it up a few frames. What? Why is it going that way? Oh, okay. I understand what's going that way. It thinks I'm going um, the other way. So bring the line back. Release it. Let it do its thing, because sometimes this thing locks up. And then you'll get a similar storm motion vector. It won't be exactly the same, of course. Um, Hmm. Walking up. There we go. There you get that storm motion vector. Now keep in mind this wasn't a line of storms that I was tracking. This was just one storm that I faked as being a line. Or two storms that I faked as being a line. Um, in reality it's a lot easier to create a line when you've actually got a line of storms that you're working with. But that's how you use uh, the, dis the distance speed tool. The next tutorial will feature the, um, oh, what's it called? It'll feature the time arrival and lead time tool. So that's that, and have a good night.